A clown is a person who wears a unique makeup face and flamboyant costume, performing comedy and arts in a state of open-mindedness, by reversing folkway norms, all while using physical comedy. The most ancient clowns have been found in the 5th dynasty of Egypt, around 2400 BC. Unlike court jesters, dubious, discuss clowns have traditionally served a socio-religious and psychological role, and traditionally when the roles of priest and clown have been held by the same persons. Peter Berger writes, it seems plausible that folly and fools, like religion and magic, meet some deeply rooted needs in human society. For this reason, clowning is often considered an important part of training as a physical performance discipline, partly because tricky subject matter can be dealt with, but also because it requires a high level of risk and play in the performer. In anthropology, the term clown has been extended to comparable jester or fool characters in non-Western cultures. A society in which such clowns have an important position are termed clown societies, and a clown character involved in a religious or ritual capacity is known as a ritual clown. A hiaka is an individual in Lakota and Dakota culture cultures who lives outside the constraints of normal cultural roles, playing the role of a backwards clown by doing everything in reverse. The hiaka role is sometimes best filled by a winked. Many native tribes have a history of clowning. The Canadian clowning method developed by Richard Pokinko and furthered by his former apprentice, Sue Morrison, combines European and Native American clowning techniques. In this tradition, masks are made of clay while the creator's eyes are closed. A mask is made for each direction of the medicine wheel. During this process, the clown creates a personal mythology that explores their personal experiences. Modern clowns are strongly associated with the tradition of the circus clown, which developed out of earlier comedic roles in theater or variety shows during the 19th to mid-20th centuries. This recognizable character features outlandish costumes, distinctive makeup, colorful wigs, exaggerated footwear, and colorful clothing, with the style generally being designed to entertain large audiences. The first mainstream clown role was portrayed by Joseph Grimaldi, who also created the traditional white face makeup design. In the early 1800s, he expanded the role of clown in the harlequinade that formed part of British pantomimes, notably at the Theatre Royal, Drury Lane, and the Sadler's Wells and Covent Garden theatres. He became so dominant on the London comic stage that harlequinade clowns became known as Joey, and both the nickname and Grimaldi's white face makeup design are still used by other clowns. The comedy that clowns perform is usually in the role of a fool whose everyday actions and tasks become extraordinary and for whom the ridiculous, for a short while, becomes ordinary. This style of comedy has a long history in many countries and cultures across the world. Some writers have argued that due to the widespread use of such comedy and its long history it is a need that is part of the human condition. The clown character developed out of the zany rustic fool characters of the early modern Commedia dell'art, which were themselves directly based on the rustic fool characters of ancient Greek and Roman theater. Rustic buffoon characters in classical Greek theater were known as skoropakes, from Paisian, to play, like a child, or dyclectas, besides other generic terms for rustic or peasant. In Roman theater, a term for clown was fosser, literally digger, laborer. The English word clown was first recorded c. 1560, as clown, cloin, in the generic meaning rustic, or peasant. The origin of the word is uncertain, perhaps from a Scandinavian word cognate with clumsy. It is in this sense that clown is used as the name of fool characters in Shakespeare's Othello and the Winter's Tale. The sense of clown as referring to a professional or habitual fool or jester developed soon after 1600, based on Elizabethan rustic fool characters such as Shakespeare's. The Harlequinade developed in England in the 17th century, inspired by Arlecchino and the Commedia dell'arte. It was here that clown came into use as the given name of a stock character, originally a foil for Harlequin's slyness and adroit nature. Clown was a buffoon or bumpkin fool who resembled less a jester than a comical idiot. He was a lower class character dressed in tattered servant's garb. The now classical features of the clown character were developed in the early 1800s by Joseph Grimaldi, who played clown in Charles Dibden's 1800 pantomime Peter Wilkins, or Harlequin in the flying world at Sadler's Wells Theatre, where Grimaldi built the character up into the central figure of the Harlequinade. The circus clown developed in the 19th century. 
The modern circus derives from Philip Astley's London Riding School, which opened in 1768. Astley added a clown to his shows to amuse the spectators between equestrian sequences. American comedian George L. Fox became known for his clown role. Directly inspired by Grimaldi, in the 1860s, Tom Belling Sr., 1843-1900, developed the Red Clown or Augusta, Dummer August, character C-1870, acting as a foil for the more sophisticated White Clown. Belling worked for Circus Rans in Vienna. Belling's costume became the template for the modern stock character of Circus or Children's Clown, based on a lower class or hobo character, with red nose, white makeup around the eyes and mouth, and oversized clothes and shoes. The clown character as developed by the late 19th century is reflected in Ruggiero Leon Cavallo's 1892 opera Pagliacci, Clowns. Belling's Augusta character was further popularized by Nikolai Polyakov's Coco in the 1920s to 1930s. The English word clown was borrowed, along with the circus clown act, by many other languages, such as French clown, Russian, and other Slavic languages, Greek Kappa Lambda Omicron Upsilon Nu, Danish slash Norwegian Kloven, Romanian Kloven etc. Italian retains Pagliaccio, a Commedia dell'arte Zani character, and derivations of the Italian term are found in other Romance languages, such as French Pale Lusse, Spanish Piasso, Catalan slash Galician Palasso, Portuguese Pal Hacco, Greek Pi Alpha Lambda Iota Tau Sigma Omicron, Turkish Paliaco, German Pajas, via French, Yiddish, Payaz, Russian, Romanian Payada. In the early 20th century, with the disappearance of the rustic simpleton or village idiot character of everyday experience, North American circuses developed characters such as the Tramp or Hobo. Examples include Marceline Orbs, who performed at the Hippodrome Theatre, 1905, Charlie Chaplin's The Tramp, 1914, and Emmett Kelly's Weary Willy based on hobos of the Depression era. Another influential Tramp character was played by Otto Griebeling during the 1930s to 1950s. Red Skelton's Dodo the Clown in the Clown, 1953, depicts the circus clown as a tragicomic stock character, a funny man with a drinking problem. In the United States, Bozo the Clown was an influential Augusta character since the late 1950s. The Bozo Show premiered in 1960 and appeared nationally on cable television in 1978. McDonald's derived its mascot clown, Ronald McDonald, from the Bozo character in the 1960s. Willard Scott, who had played Bozo during 1959-1962, performed as the mascot in 1963 television spots. The McDonald's trademark application for the character dates to 1967. Based on the Bozo template, the U.S. custom of birthday clown, private contractors who offer to perform as clowns at children's parties, developed in the 1960s to 1970s. The strong association of the bozo-derived clown character with children's entertainment as it has developed since the 1960s also gave rise to clown care or hospital clowning in children's hospitals by the mid-1980s. Clowns of America International, established 1984, and World Clown Association, established 1987, are associations of semi-professionals and professional performers. The shift of the Augusta or Red Clown character from his role as a foil for the White in Circus or Pantomime shows to a bozo-derived standalone character in children's entertainment by the 1980s also gave rise to the evil clown character, with the attraction of clowns for small children. Being based in their fundamentally threatening or frightening nature, the fear of clowns, particularly circus clowns, has become known by the term cowlrophobia. Yeah.